All right, so hazy allegations overshadowed tonight's game without question. Coco McAvoy joins us live from Veterans Stadium down in Long Beach with the legal controversy. Coco? Yes, good evening, Mark. This was a huge game, as you're well aware of. There's a lot of excitement here. You can see the fans in the stands following the game here. But as you mentioned, there was a lot of conversation, too, about those hazing allegations. <laughs> At Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, a rivalry matchup decades in the making between Modern Day and Servite, playing for the first time against each other in a CIF title game Friday. And the stands filled with fans from Modern Day. Go! Go on, let's go! And fans from Servite. But beyond the excitement of the game, a big topic of conversation was the hazing allegations against Modern Day. A former Modern Day high school football player's family filed a lawsuit alleging the player has a brain injury following hazing back in February in the nationally acclaimed program. It describes a ritual called bodies in which two players fight until one can't take it anymore. And in this alleged case, the plaintiff was allegedly told not to snitch by Modern Day staff. Rob Wygod, the commissioner of athletics for the CIF Southern section, spoke to Fox 11 at the game Friday. Well, there's serious allegations, and obviously there's uh, issues that will need to be addressed. There'll be questions that need to get answered. The allegations garnering a lot of conversation from parents and loved ones of the players, including Servite football mom, Deanne. I feel bad for that, you know, that kid and the whole, you know, the school that they're going through that. And but luckily our boys don't do that. And another Servite fan weighed in too. Sometimes it got a lot to do with trying to get somewhere and they're young, so they're going to make mistakes. So the majority of modern day fans and parents say they were focused on the game Friday instead of the allegations. That is absolutely not on my mind tonight because as we're trying to focus on a positive environment, that's what we need to focus on. I just come out here to support the kids, you know, and uh, that's what we're here for today. The focal point at Friday's game was the players from both teams giving their all on the field. But now, parents, players, and leaders from the CIF will be closely monitoring what comes next in the lawsuit against Modern Day. Obviously, it's been there all week, and there's been a lot of conversation about it, but the answers to those questions will be forthcoming. So again, a lot of excitement, but there are now questions about popular head coach Bruce Rollinson and his future for Modern Day. We'll, of course, keep track of this story. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.